Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to scale your model in Blender for, in order for it to function as a static object in Giant's editor. Uh, if you haven't already exported your model to .dae, uh, then you'll first have to do that. Um, I'll put a link in the description for how to convert Google SketchUp models to i3D for people that have, don't know. Um, mine is a very poorly looking house maybe you can call it. I'm um, going to export that. Desktop, name it something simple, without spaces remember. Uh, don't need that. You'll now have your .dae and probably textures ready for importing into Blender. If you open up Blender, uh, do the usual delete everything. Import Collider 1.4 box Import and close. Right. First thing first is what you want to do is right click on any plane or surface of your model. Uh, this will then select that plane. Then you need to tap A twice in order for it to select every part of the model. And then hold control, press J, and without moving your mouse or cursor, uh, hit enter. And then that will join all the faces in your model. Before we get onto scaling, we need to first export it to Giant's i3D so we can make a comparison of how big we might want the model. Browse to desktop, OK, export scene. Now you will now have your i3D with textures. Uh, you don't really need to worry about what the textures are at the moment because we haven't finished the conversion. So if you open up your i3D, like so, uh, of course we don't know what size will be needing our model because uh, I didn't model it to scale and I'm sure that's why you're watching this video. Uh, so first I would suggest importing it into a map maybe or next to another model so you can adjust it to your scale that you wish uh, using the X, Y and Z values on the right hand side under attributes. Uh, you can change these at any whole number even decimals uh, to whatever you wish uh, I think there is a limit on how big you can go, uh, but I'm not quite sure what it is, but normally you wouldn't really need to go that big anyway. Uh, I'm going to scale mine to 0 0.5 simply because it's easy to remember. Uh, once you've done that, you need to make a note of what each uh, X, Y and Z value is uh, to put in in Blender. Uh, with that remembered, um, I know mine are all 0 0.5, I can close that. Uh, you should still have Blender open. If you haven't, then you'll have to open it up and import the model again. Uh, with your model in, if you hit N, it'll open up the transform properties. Here you'll see scale X, scale Y, scale Z, all on one. Uh, if your model has been scaled all the same size, so each value is a whole number, or in exactly the same number, for mine, for instance, mine 0 0.5 on each one, you can simply click link scale and only change one value and it will change them all. Now that was, would have scaled my model uh, to the values that I'd entered and it should now be the size I want it to be. Uh, and before you do anything, you need to hold control and hit A. And without moving your mouth, ma eh, without moving your mouse, you need to hit enter and that will apply all the transform properties that you've just edited. Uh, if you go to File, Export, this is the final export now, Giant Sci 3D, Browse, Desktop, uh, you can now export it again, it will overwrite your old one. Uh, now if you open it up and make a comparison, oop, create light, uh, if you make a comparison like you did before, you will notice that your model will now be the size that you wanted it to be. Uh, and if you want to make it a uh, static object, you can simply click on the tab shape if you're using the new Giants editor. If not, it'll be under these values. Uh, and all you've got to do is select... Oh, forgetting it. Oh wait, sorry, it is on the first one, it's under transform. Uh, you need to select rigid body and that will now set your object static. And there you go. 
that is all you need to know. It's a bit of a arse around way of doing it, but it's the easiest way for scaling your models if you haven't uh, modelled them to scale, which I find sometimes helps because trying to model to scale in Google SketchUp doesn't really seem to work with me. Uh, but thanks for watching, hope this helps. Good day.